Hey, I'm Timothy Patton. Uh, I'm one of the board members at Heck.House, and uh, I'm a big fan of Heck, and I want to tell you why. Um, there's, there's a few reasons. Uh, one is uh, that I've lived in the neighborhood for a really long time. I've always wanted something like this. Uh, you know, art and music in walking distance from my house. This is one of those things you miss when you move out of the city, and like, here it is. Uh, it's also this amazing sense of community grows around that kind of thing. And the other, the other reason is entirely selfish. I'm an artist myself and heck has provided opportunities um, for my band Pajama Garden and also um, for my visual arts, uh, Rune Dog Art. And I want to, uh, in this video, give you a little sneak preview of an upcoming Rune Dog Art show. This is a sneak preview of the upcoming Rune Dog Art Show, tentatively titled Alter Alter 2. All of these interfaith altars are made with reclaimed and reconditioned materials. I know as artists, we never like to pigeonhole ourselves with broad terms, but can you give us a general description of how you feel you developed your style for your visual arts? Interesting. Um, well, I always thought of my painting as being something along the lines of fanciful expressionism. Um, but I have so many different mediums and I'm not sure that they all really fit that description. Some people say that art comes from either the light or the shadows. Do you think that's true? And if so, where does yours come from? Um, my art comes out of the shadows into the light. Art is, um, is always bringing something out of the private depths of the soul and bringing out in a very public and demonstrative way, whether that's in song or in paint. So this one is made out of reclaimed pallet wood and scrap two by fours. It's a split level altar. The hardware comes from a mid-century end table. The formica was ruined on the original table. The wood is painted and then sealed with an oil rub. This one is called Wee Alter Alter, because this is the first one on the smaller scale. And this one is made with reclaimed construction materials. These are uh, two by tens. And they're seated on an antique uh, footstool, which originally had a needlepoint cover. So again, not all reclaimed materials, but the primary components are reclaimed. Uh, and this one, much like its companion over here, Altar Altar 4. The top is made out of two pieces. 
that almost meet. And this is a recurring theme, plays with the tension of brokenness and wholeness. The space between. Uh, this again is reclaimed construction materials, but this was a real find, um, or actually a gift. These are pieces of cherry. Mounted on what I think used to be a plant stand. The show is called Alter Alter, or that's Alter A-L-T-E-R, followed by Alter A-L-T-A-R. Did you mean to impart a certain spirituality to the show or is there a meaning behind that you'd like to share with us the play on words between altar with an a uh, as a sacred object and altar referring to the fact that the pieces are all made with repurposed materials uh, not entirely repurposed material but the principal components always are and sometimes there's uh, more or less evidence of that previous life uh, I think um, repurposed materials, uh, upcycling, some people call it, um, is is something that we're really interested in at Heck House. Uh, and I think that there are a lot of ways to look at that. Um, you know, having made art on a budget, uh, it, it, it's been very shrewd at times to be able to see art materials in, in a trash pile. Uh, and, and uh, from, from a more philosophical standpoint, uh, we have a lot of stuff in this world. And um, if we just keep tossing it outside and making things from scratch, uh, then we're living in a trash pile. Uh, but if we can find uh, the value in things that have uh, expired their original purpose and make them beautiful and make them whole and useful again. Uh, I think that in itself is a beautiful thing. It's always fascinating to sit back and watch people processing information that you've put out there and uh, wondering how different their take on it is from your own. And that is right there about answering this. Oh.